hello to everyone who's watching, uh, especially all the Muslim viewers who are celebrating Ramadan right now. Ramadan Karim to everyone. Uh, for today, uh, I am going to cook something special uh, with the Little Rice Company's brown rice, right? And it's something that a lot of you Muslims, a lot of us Muslims are very familiar with. It's something that's served in mosques uh, for people who are breaking fast. But uh, the one thing that is special right now about this year's Ramadan is that we are not able to collect it from mosques, which is a very communal thing that we are used to. So we are forced to do it at home. And this recipe today will show you how to get the same thing at home. Okay, so uh, ingredients wise, right, uh, you will need the following. You will need about uh, two or three sticks of cinnamon, some black cardamom. Now, if this is a little bit difficult to find, you don't have to use black cardamom because you're going to use these things. Green cardamom, you have to use these. About three of these. Okay, stein is about three. And some cloves. All right. You will have a bit of cumin powder, coriander powder, white pepper. Right. You will also have chilies. And this is pretty important. The triumvirate of shallots, garlic, and ginger. You'll need about 200 grams of, uh, about 100 grams of chicken mince, with some fat preferably. Uh, if, if you want to have, to have it totally lean, that's fine as well. Uh, some oil, some ghee, is some oil, some ghee. Coconut milk, coconut cream, thickened. And for the garnish, we'll have shallots, uh, fried shallots, coriander, spring onion, which I've already cut julienne into the small crunchy pieces and that's pretty much it uh, oh don't forget we also need lemongrass and I'll show you how to prepare the lemongrass to bruise it before you cook it so this lemongrass this bit here is kind of useless okay. and you don't need the whole of lemongrass you just need this much this is where the flavor is right expose this bit and what you can do just bruise it with the end of your knife Right, put it back your life. One thing that I have to know about using this brown rice, right, is the, and I'll be very honest here, right. Uh, I don't have a good, I don't have a good opinion of brown rice. One thing I did find out when I'm using this brown rice is that, and this is what I told uh, everyone, it's not as disgusting. It's it actually tastes quite palatable, and I was surprised myself. I was like, okay, this this is strange. I'm not actually regurgitating. Uh, so this is good. This is a good start. One thing about brown rice that's good uh, for a lot of uh, communities is that uh, the low GI means that you actually stay full for a lot longer. And if you are diabetic, and a lot of us are or have or know people who are or have our parents who are suffering from such ailments, right? This brown rice is actually good for them, right? And surprise, surprise, it's not just good for you, it actually tastes good. So that's always a plus. If you notice that the water isn't very cloudy, so that's good, that's a good sign, nice and clean. Well done with the rice company. Just gonna add a little bit of oil. And you might be asking, why do I add oil and then I add ghee? Okay, oil, basically, building block of flavor uh, is oil, fat, salt, okay? Um, with oil, you are cooking it so that it doesn't burn. With ghee, you're adding flavor. You can use uh, a peanut oil, groundnut oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, anything that you are familiar with. The cinnamon sticks, the star anise, maybe about one, uh, let's do two. Black cardamom, green cardamom, and some cloves. And add a bit of ghee. About a tablespoon of ghee. This is where all the flavor is. is what the fat is. Ghee is basically just clarified butter. So it's actually good for you. For people who are on keto diets, right? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of them start to use butter and ghee as their forms of fat. Uh, and it actually helps them to lose weight and to keep healthy, so that's always good. Okay. So now that it's nice and fragrant, oof, it is very nice and fragrant, you're gonna add the, spi the, the spice mix of 
the shallots, the ginger, and the garlic to all blend it, right? We just leave it water. Try to get as much water out before you do this because it's going to flatter. Just lower the heat. You don't want it to burn. You do not want it to burn. Just going to add the blue fennel grass. And we just, we don't, we're going to start adding the cumin powder. Just about one teaspoon. Coriander powder. A teaspoon. And just a little bit of white pepper to start off. Throughout this recipe, what you're going to do is you're going to add white pepper and salt to taste as we go along. So what you want is for the spice mix, right? This building block of this recipe to look like this. This color. And then you just continue to fry it until it becomes fragrant. I'm going to add this minced chicken right now. Okay, let's go back to see how our rice is doing. Okay, rice is soaking nicely. Right. So we're just gonna drain it out. brown rice right actually brown rice needs more water than white rice so you have to be sure that those of you who know this recipe and you're familiar with how much water you put in you actually add a, a bit more like to start off with just to get this recipe going right I'm gonna add one and a half cups of water so we're gonna bring it up to a boil first and then once it comes up to a boil then we're gonna turn the heat down and let it simmer and then we play the waiting game. With this recipe, you might think I'm committing uh, culinary blasphemy. Uh. How dare you use brown rice instead of white rice, right? But because brown rice has this nutty feel that doesn't translate well when you're pouring gravy on it, right? Why does this brown rice taste so strange? But for this intent and purpose, for this porridge recipe, right? This brown rice works very well. Not just quite well, but very well. Because the basis of this recipe itself is that spice and the sense of richness. The brown rice lends to that. The brown rice adds depth. The brown rice is actually healthy for you. So have your fill. Go ahead. So yeah, if there is a reason to start switching to brown rice, right? You know, I'm not saying go all in. Go slow. Uh, first use it for fried rice. With fried rice, it, it, it works as well. Then use it for porridge. And then slowly while you're adjusting to that, right? Make the switch. Make the switch. Brown rice works. It does. At this point in time, when it's still a porridge, right, you add the chili in, so they'll cook nice and soft. By the time it gets to, so you just stir it in and just let it cook with the rice. So that adds a little bit of color. Okay, at this point in time, it's nearly done. So this is the part where it gets its rich flavor from the coconut milk. Maybe about a quarter cup of coconut milk and just stir it in. Okay, it's more or less done right now. So what you just need to do is just scoop out an amount. If you want it to be a bit more uh, watery, you can. Just add a bit more stock or water. You know, more coconut milk or coconut cream if you want to. But this should be it. Right. So we can sprinkle a bit of chopped spring onion. A bit of julienne spring onion. Some shallots. Uh, this is what we will have for breakfast. This is what I'm gonna have for breakfast. As you can see, there's a lot there, and I can't give it out to my neighbors because we live in a very strange time right now. But it doesn't mean that um, your faith, uh, you know, is diminished in a time of unease and disease. Um, if anything, uh, you can be thankful for that you are able to do this at home. That the spirit is not lost uh, something for you something for me